how to find a missing angle using the law of sines. So the first thing that you need to do is set up the general law of sines ratios or know them. All right. So what this means is the side A over the sine of the angle A. So for example, here, 18.4, right? its opposite angle is that we call that A. Does that make sense? And so it's so side B here, its opposite angle would be this. So that's why I have 23.9 over sine of 85.4 degrees. Okay, I put the N here because that's our unknown angle here. But the letters don't matter as long as you have the proper corresponding opposite side and angle then the math is not a problem. All right, so once you have that set up, it's actually very, very easy. You just solve for the unknown, right? So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna cross multiply, okay? So multiply this denominator by this numerator and this denominator by this numerator. All right, so I get this, okay? So then what I did was to isolate this over here, I divided both sides by 23.9. Okay. And I get 0 and 765 thousandths, or 0.765. And then use your inverse sine or arc sine on your calculator. Okay. It usually looks like this. And that will give you your answer. And this is in degrees. So the last thing I need to do is add the units, which is just the degree symbol. Okay, and then if you were reading carefully, you'll notice that in the question it said round to the nearest tenth, which is why I rounded to the nearest tenth, even though it's going on forever in the actual answer. Okay, so that completes our problem.